All right, Warrior Kids, welcome to another class. Again, we're getting ready for testing coming up pretty soon. So what we're going to start off with is a sparring couple, a couple sparring combinations as our warm-up. But first, remember, the room you're in right now is your martial arts school. So make sure you're training just as hard as if the instructors were standing there watching you, okay? Here we go. Let's go ahead and face front. Strong bow. Good. Academy 10, staying with me. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. Strong bow. All right, ready, stands. Let's start off with 10 good jumping jacks. Ready, go for it. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. And 10, sir. All right, like I said, we're going to work on a sparring warm up, okay? So this is a great sparring drill. You can do it testing at any level, okay? So I'm going to start in my sparring stance. One foot forward, one foot back, hands in guard. What's really important to remember when you're sparring is whatever leg is in front should usually be my favorite kicking leg. Now, in this case, it doesn't matter because we're going to switch here in a minute. But my favorite leg should typically be the one that I load up in the front for my sparring combo, okay? So hands are up. What we're going to start with is that front leg is going to lift. My knee comes up, front kick. As it comes down, I'm going to punch with the front arm. And then when it lands, I'm going to punch with the back arm, okay? So there's three moves. I'm in my sparring stance. My front leg does my first kick. My front arm goes, then my back arm goes. And that's very important. I do my front arm first, then my back arm second. So hands up. I'll tell you when to switch legs. Ready? Go for it. Front leg, front kick, punch. One, two. Good. Front leg, front kick, punch. One, two. Good. Keep that going nice and smooth. We haven't stretched yet, so we're not kicking high. We're not necessarily going fast. We're going nice and smooth. Keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Time. Let's switch sides. Other side is in front. Again, hands up, elbows in. Front leg is going to front kick, punch front arm, back arm, 20 seconds on the clock. Ready? Go for it. Front kick, one, two punches. Back to your guard. Front kick, one, two punches. Good. Each time getting back to guard. Each time front leg going first. Very important. Good. Keep it up. We have 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, time. Now, for this one, you can pick your favorite one again. So if your left one's your favorite, right one's your favorite, put your favorite leg in front, okay? And we're going to move around like we're sparring. When I clap my hands, you're going to front kick, punch, punch. And so when I clap my hands, it's almost like you see an opening, and that's, a, that's the only time you have to front kick, okay? So you're going to be moving around like you're sparring. I clap my hands, you're going to front kick, punch high, punch low. Here we go. Ready? Moving around, moving around. Ready? And go. Front kick, punch, punch. Get back in guard. Good. Keep going. Again, you can move around. You can even turn directions if you want to. You can switch legs if you want to. But whatever leg is in front, it's going to do the front kick. Punch, punch. Ready? And good. Only when I clap. Front kick, punch, punch. Good. Good. Front kick, punch, punch. Again, you can switch legs. You can move around. Whatever you want to do. Ready? Good. Front kick, punch, punch. Here we go. Good. Front kick, punch, punch. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Good. Front kick, punch, punch. One more time. And Front kick, punch, punch. All right, very good. So that's a great combo that you can use uh, in your sparring. Uh, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and stretch. So go ahead and have a seat. Let's get ready for that. All right, Warrior Kids, go ahead and have a seat. Here we go. Legs are going to be straight out in front of us. Now, remember, as we stretch, we want to do our very best to lean forward, reach with our arms. And the third part is very important is putting my head down between my arms. We're going to hold it down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, a little bit lower, 5, 4, 3, look down, 2, one, and bring it back up. All right, good. One leg straight, other leg wrapped around behind you. So as we do this stretch, again, this knee is far away from my other knee on purpose. That way I don't fall over sideways, okay? Then, so I don't fall over, I'm going to lean my shoulder forward over my leg, reach and hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Other side out, other leg behind you. Get a good stretch here. Lean it forward. We want to see how flexible you can get. What if by the end of this year, you were like twice as flexible as you are now? That would be really crazy awesome. So lean forward, reach, and head down 10. Nine, eight, seven, a little bit lower, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Legs both amount to a V. So as we do this stretch, I don't even want to start the stretch until I feel the tightness in my legs. So I'm going to move one leg out, move the other one out. Oop, I feel that stretch now, okay? So once I feel the stretch, then I'm going to start my stretch. So hands behind your head, side to side equals one. We're going to get 10. Ready? Go for it. Side to side. That's one, sir. Good. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Keep going. More than halfway there. That's seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Last one. Go as low as you can. Ten, sir. All right, legs 
bit wider. What happens is as I stretch, my legs kind of move in a little bit. So I move them all the way back out, get a good position here. And now we're going to stretch down the middle. So what I want you to do is take your hands, lean forward, head between your arms as far as you can. And then you can put your hands on the floor. But again, try to keep your ears between your arms. So you shouldn't be looking at me. You shouldn't be looking at the screen unless your screen is down on the floor. Okay, so look down, hold it a little bit further, a little bit lower, five, four, a little bit lower, three, two, one. All right, go ahead and bring your feet together. Butterfly stretch, moving your knees up and down, butterfly wings, or push them straight down to the mat. Whew, good stretch, good stretch. All right, let's go ahead and hop up and get to our next part of class. All right, let's work on some sparring drills. Uh, there's going to be two drills that we're going to do, and then white and yellow belts, you have your sparring skills that we're going to have you guys do as the orange belts and above shadow spar. Okay, I'll explain what that is in a minute, okay? First drill that we're going to work is very important that we have a good guard position, okay? I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me, okay? My left leg is in front. I'm leaning back. So in this case, my left leg would be the one that I would want to kick with, all right? So from here, my hands are up, both hands in front of my face. You can see my hands right here are in front of my face. I don't have one next to my face and one in front. Both guards are in front, okay? So this drill is off of somebody side kicking at us, okay? So as they side kick at us, I'm going to drive my low block down then I'm going to answer with my own sidekick, okay? So I'm going to low block. As that comes up, I'm going to sidekick, all right? So really important on this that my hand comes back up because if they do a double sidekick and my hand is down, they'll be able to hit me with that second one, okay? So I low block, get my hand back up, lift, and sidekick. This works really well if when you they sidekick at you, when you block, they kind of uh, step off to the side. Then you have that target right here open for that sidekick, okay? Just a great counter counterattack drill. So here we go. I'll set the timer on this side. We're going to low block side kick. I'll tell you when to switch. Ready? And go. Here we go. Hand up. Low block, side kick, hands back up. Low block, side kick. And before your kick goes all the way out, your hand should be back up in that guard stance. Good. Keep going. Low block, side kick. All right. Good. Low block, side kick. Keep your balance by leaning on your back leg, okay? Low block, side kick. Don't stop. Do a couple more. Five, four, three, two, one. One, let's switch to the other side. Okay, so again, I'm here, my sparring stance, low block. As it comes up, my leg comes up and over. I deliver that psychic towards their rib cage. Okay, good. We've got 20 seconds on the clock. And go. Here we go. Good. Low block, side kick. Hands are in guard the entire time, except for when it's down, but get it right back up on the other side. Good. Hands up, going right here to the rib. Don't kick below your own belt level. Pretend you're sparring someone the same height as you, and you have to kick above your belt to get them in the ribs. Okay, we have 10. Nine, eight, low block side kick, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, this next drill is off of a hand technique, okay? So uh, maybe they did a chop towards me, or maybe they did a, a punch, whatever. So I'm going to block counterattack. Let's just go off a punch attack. That's easier. So if I'm here, okay, again, you can see hands in front. If I'm here, that punch comes in towards my forehead. So I'm going to use this front arm, and I'm going to block. I'm going to use my front arm. I'm going to back fist. However, what we're going to pretend that, that happened is they come with their punches. So as they come in towards me, they're coming closer to me. So if I were to just block back fist, their head would be too close to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block back fist as I step together and back. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. So I block by going across my face as my front foot comes together. And I back fist as my back leg steps back. So I'm getting away from them. Block, step together, back fist, come back. If I do that kind of fast, I'm here. I go one, two, okay, because they're charging at me, so I've got to protect myself, okay? All right, pick a side, hands up, and go for it. Block, back fist. Same arm does both techniques. Here, block, back fist. Good. A couple more times up here. Block, back fist. Again, they're coming at us. We've got to do something to get away. Good. And three, two, one. Let's switch. Other side, hands up. So, again, I'm coming backwards as I block, back fist. Same hand does both of these techniques. Block back fist. Good. All right. And go for it. Yep. Hand, both hands are here unless you're doing the block or the back fist. Otherwise, it's right here. Okay. Well, I want my hands here because if they punch at me, that hand can easily block if it's in the right spot. If it's not in the right spot, it's going to be harder to block. Here we go. Ready? Block back fist. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Good. Now, from here, Orange belts and above, what I want you guys to do is pretend you're sparring with somebody, okay? You're going to do a combination, move around, do a couple of blocks, and another combination of some sort, okay? So you're going to spar the whole minute, okay? Round one, white and yellow belts, you're going to work with me on your sparring skill number one. 
and then we'll do a break, and then we'll do a second round where you'll do sparring skill number two, okay? So orange belts and above, on your marks, hands up, get set, and go for it. Here we go, white belts, yellow belts, hands up in guard. First thing we have is a block for a punch. So I'm gonna block, we just did this a second ago. I block, okay? Front leg lifts, front kick, land, front arm punch, back arm punch, back to guard, okay? So I block with the front arm, kick with the front leg, punch with the front arm, then punch with the back arm. All right, orange belts above, keep going, keep bouncing, keep moving, keep kicking, keep punching. All right, so you can see from this position, I'm leaning back, so that should make this kick with the front leg very easy to do, okay? It flows really nice. So let's do it together. Block, front leg, front kick. As it comes down, punch one, other arm punch two. Good, practice a couple more times, white and yellow belts. Good, keep it up, everybody, 15 seconds. Block, front kick, punch, punch for white and yellow belts. Everybody else, you're working your sparring combos that you've learned in classes. Double round kicks, spin side kicks, jump front kicks, whatever you've learned, put it in your sparring. Just know hammer fist, elbow smashes, or palm strikes, okay, or knee strikes. Three, two, one, great job, take a breath. Whew, all right, we're gonna go to round two in a few seconds, okay? And white and yellow belts, I'll go through your second sparring skill as well here in just a moment. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, you're young, you got your breath caught, you're good. Okay, so orange belts and above, get ready, hand up your sparring stance, think of a move or two you didn't do round one, and I want you to include those for sure in round number two, okay? Everybody ready? And go. White and yellow belts, hands up in guard. This time the kick comes in here like we did a minute ago. We're going to low block, but this time the kick is a double roundhouse kick, and then we're going to throw a back fist, okay? Everything's on the same side. So their kick comes in here. I'm going to low block. As I lift my hand, my knee comes up. I hide my foot behind my back. Round kick one, two. As I come down, my elbow points at my partner, and I do a back fist, okay? So when one, two. Front arm back fist. Here we go. Ready? Keep going. White, yellow, orange belts and above. White and yellow belts. Let's go. Low block. Double round. Back fist. Good. Everyone keep on going. White and yellow belts. Low block. Double round. Back fist. All on the same side. Okay. Good. Keep going. Almost there. Good. Let me check my timer. My timer went away. That's no good when your timer escapes. All right. We have five, four, three, two, one, and that is time. Great job. So the best thing you can learn at whatever rank you are is how to hold your guards up nice and strong. If they're strong, but they're able to move around, you're going to be a great fighter in sparring. You're going to be great at competitions. So keep on working. Keep on pushing. Keep on kicking. Awesome job. Let's go to the next part of class. All right, Warrior Kids, go ahead and grab your commas. If you need to pause this uh, to go grab them, go ahead and do that. We're going to jump straight into uh, our form section of class. So Remember, when you have your commas, you want to hold them towards the middle, blades always facing away from you. If you have stingers at the bottom, you want to be especially careful when you lift up the kick so that you don't hurt yourself, okay? So go ahead and grab your commas. We're going to do today teaching style, which means if you were here in the academy with me, you'd be standing right behind me so you kind of see at an angle what I'm doing. So I'm going to stand in front of you as if you're standing behind me. So you're going to follow along as if you're right here in class with me, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is put our commas by our sides. Face front, I'm gonna scoot here, let's see, yep, that's be good. Good, I'm gonna face front, strong bow. All right, from there, my left leg steps out, commas go up above my head, and I just cross them a little bit. From here, my left leg steps out like I'm getting on a big fat horse, so I'm stepping out, elbows drive down like this. From there, take your right arm forward attack, then left arm, kind of like a punch. From there, I'm gonna take the left hand, the one that's out, I'm gonna bring it to my opposite shoulder, other hand crosses underneath. So you can see how tight my arms are crossed? I turn my toes to the front corner and low block. So my low block is right above my knee, so I've got my same leg as the arm that's down, okay? Now that leg's gonna skip front kick. So my hands come up, I go up with the back, skip, kick with the front, then from there I land, but I hug. Before I land my other foot, uh, I'm gonna hug, and then I get my chop when I land, okay? So the chop comes from the top, across, then punch with the backhand. All right, now from there, we're gonna do the same four moves the other way. So as I turn my toes, I don't step, watch, my toes just turn, I hug my right arm on top, now my right arm does my low block. Now we're going this direction, okay? So my left leg's gonna come up, my right leg's gonna skip front kick. So I go up, skip front kick, hug. Then when I land, chop. From there, back arm punch. So that is section one. And if you're a white through green belt, that's all you have to know for your form stripe, okay? So remember, if you're in-person classes as well as online, you can show us your form when you're in class for your stripe. If you're only online, then you can send us a video of you guys doing the whole form and we'll send you your form stripe, okay? So let's do section one again. And then we'll do section two and three for those of you that have it. Now, if you're a green belt and below, you're allowed to practice the whole form if you want to, but you only have to know section one. 
And if we get to section two and you don't want to do it, that's okay. I want you to practice section one again and again until you get it perfect, okay? Make it nice and sharp, all right? So from here, commas ready, strong bow, left leg steps out. All right, from here, stay with me. Left leg steps out, elbows come down, ayah, loud yell. Right forward attack, left forward attack. Notice, where's my right hand right now? It's right on my belt. It's not hanging down here, nice and sharp. Take your left arm, hug it on top, other arm on bottom. Turn your toes, low block, okay? Front stance here, my front knee is bent, my back leg is straight, and I've got my comma right above my knee. From here, hands come up, skip front kick. Up with the back, kick with the front, up, boom, front kick. Then hug, then chop, back arm punch. Remember from here, I'm gonna turn my toes, I'm gonna hug, but I'm not gonna step anywhere. So I turn my toes, hug, and low block. From there, my right side's in front, my hands come up, skip right, front kick, hug. Right chop, left punch. From here, go ahead and start over and practice if you're a green belt or below, okay? If you're a blue belt and above, let's go section two. From here, I'm gonna point my left hand forward. So the one that was here, I'm gonna point it forward. My left leg goes behind me, my right arm goes up for high block, hug tight, low block. Then I do it again, step back, left side now, high block, hug on top, low block. All right, I'm gonna scoot over here so you can see me a little bit better. All right, from here, my front foot is my left foot, okay? My right foot doesn't do anything. My front foot goes from a little back stance up to a big front stance. From there, back arm does a punch. This is the same movement you would do if you were doing like an elbow smash to break a board, okay? So my front foot goes from a little back stance. I go from here, step forward or adjust, back arm punch, so left foot, right hand. If you're a black belt from here, you're allowed to do a two-step run jump side kick. I'll show you that in a second. If you're not a black belt yet, or if you are a black belt where you wanna do a different one, then you can go from here, back leg, front kick, land, skip front kick, and then for brown belts and above, we have a jump front kick, and then we land in a sitting stance, low block from here. So again, I'm going towards the front, you're going towards the, your screen right now with a low block from here, okay? All right, so that is section two. Only brown belts and above have section three. I'll cover that in a minute. Let me show you that run jump side kick again, but let's go back through section number two just to get it. So right foot, again, white and yellow belts, orange and green, keep on working hard on section number one. You guys got to keep practicing over and over again to make it good. Right foot, left hand, drag your left hand forward, drag your left foot back, right high, low in that, in that back stance. Then step back again, left high, low in that back stance. My front foot goes over to the front stance, back arm punch. If you're a black belt, you want to do the run jump side kick, it looks like this, I'll go low and slow for you. I step with a right, left, chamber, jump, side kick, and then land down. If you're not a black belt, or if you don't want to do that as a black belt, we're going to go back leg, lifts, front kick, skip front kick, then a brown belt and above, you're going to jump front kick, hug, low block, coming towards your screen, okay? All right, very good. Now, for those of you that have section three, brown belts and above, we're going to hop towards the back of the classroom, hook kick if you're brown and red, Hook kick, round kick if you're a black belt. So you're gonna go away from your screen. So as if you're, you're standing here, you're gonna go with me this direction, okay? Back away from your screen. My left leg, I'm gonna hop, hook kick, or for black belts, hook round, land, chop, elbow. Same four moves to the front. I look over my right shoulder, hop hook, or hop hook kick, round kick, chop, elbow strike. Now black belts, you have three additional moves. My front leg goes behind me but not the easy quick way, just by stepping back, it goes from here, I go my front foot steps all the way, becomes my back foot, reverse hook. So it's kind of like a knife hand here, okay, with my back arm, that's the right foot, right hand. From there, left punch, right punch, and yell, ay -yah. All right, team, that's your form. So if you want to, you can back this up, and you can go through it again if you need more practice on it, or if you know it by yourself, you just wanna pause this and practice a couple times. Remember, knowing it is not the goal. Knowing it's great. But if you know it, but it looks kind of bad, it doesn't matter. I want you not to just know it. I want you to be able to demonstrate it with excellence, okay? So it is time to go for our next drill. So get ready. So Warrior Kids, now we are going to work on a challenging drill. They're called hop along front kicks, okay? So what I'm going to say is hop. That means you're going to start hopping. All right? When I say kick, you're going to kick. When I say switch, you're going to switch. Very simple rules, but this is not easy, okay? So here's what's going to happen. You're going to bring one knee up. I'm going to start hopping. When I say kick, you're going to kick. You're going to keep on hopping, then kick, then if I say switch, switch, all right? So we're going to hop on one foot the whole time until I say switch, then we'll hop on that foot. If I say kick, then we're going to do a front kick, all right? So again, do your very best, okay? If you have to take a break for a second, that's okay. Take a break. Get right back to it, all right? Here we go. Ready? Hands up. Pick up one knee. Whew. Let's do it. Ready? Hop, 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 hop. Ready? Kick. Boom. 
Good. Try not to set it down. Kick. Good. Let's try one more. Keep that knee up. Ready. Kick. Good. Switch. We're other leg now. Good. Ready. Kick. Good. Ready. Kick. Keep it up. Kick. Good. And switch. All right. Switch. Oh, switch. Good. And kick. Switch. Kick. Good. Kick. Switch. And kick. Good. Kick. And switch. And kick. Woo! Level one is done. That's right. We have a level two. And this one's going to be a little bit more difficult, okay? So this time, same thing, except you're going to be going in a circle, okay? So what I'm going to say from here is we'll be hopping on one foot. I'll say kick, switch, other way. <laughs> so I'm going to have one leg up. I'm going to be hopping and turning. If I say switch, you'll switch legs, but you keep on turning that way. If I say other way, you keep hopping, but you go the other way. And of course, if I say kick, you're going to kick. Can you do it? Let's see. Let's see. Be careful. All right, here we go. Hands up. Pick up one leg. Decide which way you want to go first and go. We're hopping. Kick. Good. We're hopping. Kick. Switch. We're still going that same direction. Other way. Other way. Kick. Good. Keep going. Switch. Kick. Other way. Good. See if you do it without my help. Keep going. Switch. Other leg. There you go. Keep turning. Kick. Good. Kick. That's it. Other way. Now you turn the other way. Ready? Switch. Switch. Kick. Kick. Keep going. Only 10 seconds left. Switch. Kick. Switch. That means other leg. Good. Other direction. Good. Kick. Kick. Switch. Other leg. Kick. Other direction. Kick. Switch. Kick. 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 Done. All right. Warrior kids. That was tough stuff, but you're even tougher. Let's go on to the next part of class. Whew. Good job. All right, again, for this drill, you're going to need a chair. So if you need to pause the video to grab that, uh, awesome. If you already had it from one of the last drills, that's awesome too. Okay, so we're going to start off. The way we start off with several of these is working on some chair squats. So chair squats, again, I'm going to go down to my rear touches and then come right back up. All right, we're going to start with 10 chair squats. So hands in guard and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. All right. Now from here, we're going to work on our roundhouse kick. So again, if you have a low back chair like this, that'd be good. If it's too high to hold, you want to grab something else you can hold on to for this rope. All right. But what we're doing four count roundhouse. So I'm going to go kind of at an angle a little bit here, just so you can see better. So from here, actually you may be better if I point straight at you. So from here, I'm holding the chair here for balance, okay? When I count one, we're going to bring this knee up and hold our foot behind our back, okay? This is probably the hardest point to get to. You can see my knee pointed right at you. So my knee should not be here. It should be here. Two, I'm going to kick. Three, pull back. And then four, set back down. This is a tough one. Do your very best. If you're struggling, you can lift up here and then point your knee that way. I just think it's easier to lift your knee and then grab your foot, okay? So ready? And one, hold it up here. Good. Two, kick it out. Three, bring it back and hold. Four, set down. What a lot of people do when they do this kick is they kick and then they kind of drop it. Well, that's not good if I want to do more than one kick, right? So this drill is crazy good for this. Ready? One, hold your leg. Two, execute it out. Three, bring it back. Then four, set down. Good. A couple more. Ready? One, two, three, four, two more. One, two, three, four, last one, one, two, three, and four. All right, now we're gonna pick that leg up into first position and we're gonna execute five roundhouse kicks from there. So ready, hold on to the chair for balance. One, now we're gonna execute five round kicks. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, other side, here we go. So again, that first position is nice and tight here. Okay, my knee is pointed towards you, your knee's pointed towards me, kick out two, Three, grab a hold again, and four, set down. Here we go. Ready? Four more. One. Whoops, where do I need to go? One, two, three, and four. Good. Ready? And one, two, three, four. These are tough. One, two, three, four. I believe we have one more. One, two, three, and four. Just like the other side, we're going to go to first position, and then we're going to execute five. Roundhouse kicks, here we go. And one, hold it. 
Get your balance and five round kicks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Feel the burn. Here we go. Flip that chair around. Now, from here, what we're going to work is I'm going to sit, touch, lift. Round kick one, round kick two. What I want to be careful of is I don't bring my foot back hitting the chair. Remember, when I chamber, my knee comes up, then I tuck, and then I throw the kick, okay? So if you need to, step out a bit once you stand up. All right, we're going to get five of these. Ready? So squat in, lift. One, two, that's one. Touch, stand. One, two, that's two. Squat, stand. One, two, that's three. Squat, stand. One, two, that's four. Squat, stand. One, and two. Again, with these kicks, I'm not going very high at all on purpose, okay? But if you want to kick higher, you can when you try, try these. More importantly, we want to kick correctly with that knee pointed straight at your target. All right, good job. Let's go on to the next drill. All right, for me, we're going to have a seat all the way back. We're going to work our self-defense here. Just a short little drill, but what I want you to do is after I show this to you, I want you to pause it, pause the video, do the drill 10 times, and then from there, roll on to the next part of class, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to imagine we got knocked back. So we fall back. When I'm sitting, I fall backwards. As I come up, I see somebody directly in front of me, okay? So I'm going to plant my hand. I'm going to plant my opposite foot, come up, front kick, and land. Some people have said that planting the side with the foot on, in the arm is the same. Whatever's most comfortable for you, but you got to have one hand at the block, okay, in case they come over and try to kick me or something like that, okay? So, again, I'm going to say sideways. I roll back. I see them coming. I post my foot, my opposite hand, lift, boom, front kick, and down. Lift, front kick, and down. So what I want you to do is I want you to do that five times on each leg, okay, after the pause, so hold on, not yet, because I'm going to show you the second part, okay, so again, if I'm on the other side, post, hand, opposite foot, other hand up to guard, lift my rear, boom, front kick, and down, okay, so again, I'll show you this side here, plant, lift, boom, front kick, so that's part one, part two is being on my hip, on my side, with my top leg up for kicking, my top hand up for blocking, my bottom leg barely on the ground. And that's because I can turn really easily, but if this foot's stuck on the ground, I can't turn very well, okay? So again, I've got this leg here, I'm gonna turn sideways. So for me, you're, you're gonna do 10 on each leg if you can, okay? So 10 on each leg of this and the crab one, side kick out and back. Notice my leg is going forward, my whole knee comes back. Knee forward, knee back. If your knee is staying there, then it's not a side kick and it's not gonna protect you as well. So I've gotta tuck that knee in tight, side kick sidekick okay so what i want you to do is i want you to go and pause the video i want you to go ahead and do 10 of those crab front kicks on each leg and 10 of these drop side kicks on each leg and that will do for your self-defense stripe for this cycle let us know you got that done all right warrior kids i hope you guys worked really hard today because we did a lot of drills that are going to be very good to make you better at martial arts remember the point of this is not just to get a class credit it's not just to memorize stuff, it's to become a better martial artist, to be better at kicking, punching, moving, blocking, talking your way uh, through something instead of just fighting, being able to break through a board because that represents breaking through challenges. So make sure as you're doing this curriculum, you, the next class you come to, or if you do this class again, whatever you do, give it 100% because there's no way you're going to regret how good you're going to become by giving it your all. All right, can't wait to see you back in class and back online.